Welcome to our Arcanum chill through. What is this? Arcanum. What was the rest of the name of the game? Like Obscure Magic or Magic Obscura or something like that? I don't fucking know. Your heater is like at my fucking arm right now. Like I feel it on my arm. That's funny. And we're just basically just going to play this like super chill. We're not going to try to entertain like a ton. We're just going to play how we usually play when we're not on camera. Um, should we pick a character or make a new character? One second. Let's see what it says. We're using a guide. Never played this game before in our entire lives. But we like, uh, we like Baldur's Gate, so. This is the same people that made Baldur's Gate, right? No, same guy that made, uh, Fallout. Fallout. We like Fallout, too. Um, hmm, did new character. New character? Or pick a character? We'll pick a character, see what it does. We got Merwin Tumblebrook. Godfrey Castleburger. It's a pretty good one. Horace McGinley. Muck Evil Eye. Dren Lore. Solomon Dune. Merrick Luckerton. Luggard Bloodstone. Victoria Warrington. Balan Sarah. Clarice Vorak. Carrie Melange. Merwin Tumblebrook. I guess he's a halfling. We're like, what's his class? What is this? Bitch. Um, okay, he's a halfling. This guy's a gnome. Look like a bitch. This guy's a half elf and a half ogre, an elf and a human, half orc, dwarf, human, elf, half orc, half elf, halfling. We just make a character. Make a character? It looks like we can just make a character. New character. What's your name, Matt? Uh, Mr. Hyde. I'll spell it out. Are we male? Okay, we're male. We're human, right? We're gonna be like half orc or something like that. He's human because he looked. That looks like Mr. Hyde to me. That's true. Raised by snake handlers. Receive a plus 20% in your resistance, resistance to, to poison. poisons. Uh, apprentice to a blacksmith. You gain a bonus to strength. Um, bonus to repair skill, but you suffer penalty to dexterity. Raised by elves. Wonderful suit of magical elven chainmail, but suffer a slight penalty to all tech skills. Raised by monks. Gain a perception bonus, but renouncing the material world leaves you with only one quarter of the normal starting wealth. Apparently dexterity is the most important stat. All right. Well, yeah, I wouldn't expect anything from this stream or recording. Yeah, we we reserve the right to not ever play this game again. Truth. So you may never ever have a conclusion. That's true. Also, but it comes I had like a whole list of things I was gonna say. I forgot them because you had shitty fucking intro. I'm gonna be a little bit harsher than I usually am. Because fuck you. <laughs> it's because we had such a hard time getting this game to work. Oh, yeah. So I had the idea for this stream at, uh, or this idea at like 5 o'clock. And we didn't get it up and running until 7 o'clock. Because apparently old games are stupid and they don't want to be recorded ever. Yep. Also, I, I wouldn't expect a ton of talking. We'll talk. Not like. Yeah, but we're only going to talk like. Because if we're just hanging out. I think there'll be phone calls. Yeah, might my, my, my receive phone calls, which mm, that usually happens. We usually gauge how long we're in an episode and then either end the episode or go with it. If you've seen all of our episodes, you would have seen a couple of times where we've been on a phone call. Texting. Texting. Being quiet, not paying attention to the screen. I mean, I'll be paying attention. Matt might not pay attention, though. It's whatever, though, because we're just hanging out. Apparently, for Child of a Hero, we get plus one to her father's sword. I might get bored and play guitar. Well, then it's Child of a Hero. Yeah, you might get entertained in a totally different way. Therefore, you'll incur terrible negative reaction for any you like. Also, if we use a guide and that offends you, that's not my problem. You go fuck yourself. Guides are awesome. Um, and what else? I can't really think of anything else. What does that say? 
Apparently, if you're born into an inheritance, the easy life has cost you a penalty to willpower. Most of the money has been spent now, but you begin with twice the normal starting wealth. Yeah, that's pretty good. You have suffered con congenital brain damage. You lack intelligence, but you receive more praise when you do good deeds. <laughs> uh, you used to work as a knife thrower in a circus, to losing an eye in a freak accident. Sadly, you lost a point to perception, but you gained an exceptional bonus to your throwing skill. Spending your whole childhood inside a shop, you get an exceptional bonus to haggle, but you suffer a penalty to dexterity. Born under a sign. You were born during an astronomical event. As a result, you experience fewer critical hits and critical misses. But when you do get them, their results tend to be spectacular. Okay, I'm not going to read all these out loud. Bonus to intelligence, negative to... In order to use an item in your inventory, just drag it over to your hand. So. Oh, that's nice. Oh, class bully gives you plus extra strength, but negative in intelligence. Buff and blood gives you magical aptitude five percent, but you slight penalty to tech skills. Hyperactive gives you suffer charisma, but higher than your speed is higher than normal. Give bonus to strength, negative to dexterity. Everything negative is your dexterity. No, nothing ever ups your dexterity. Oh my god, what is this? Shelter childhood to strength, but. Being more sensitive, you have bonuses to intelligence, willpower, and perception. <coughs> Troll offspring, ne negative to beauty, negative to charisma, plus to strength, constitution, and dexterity, though. Having grown away with a local troop of circus performers, you have gained considerable physical strength, but negative to intelligence, willpower, perception. Raised in the pits. Oh, plus two to dexterity. Plus two to strength. This looks like ours. Uh, negative six to intelligence. How about... Nope. Feral child. Also negative to intelligence, but plus three to dexterity. Apparently you can't be intelligent and dexterous. since <laughs> bullshit. Beat with an ugly stick. Plus two to dexterity. Plus to strength. Negative six to beauty. It's a possibility. Hey, well, there you go. Beat with an ugly stick. Possibly. Let's go through the rest of them. This is the opposite, a ladies' man, but you're shit at everything else. Raised by orcs, negative to charisma. Educator, plus one to maximum followers. Escape lunatic. Escape. Also, these episodes are going to be very long. Yeah, because we don't give a fuck. That's not why. Oh, go ahead, Matt, sorry. Because we don't want to cut them. <laughs> well, we don't cut the other ones either, but... We just like our our recording is already pretty fast and loose. Yeah, this what? is just even going to be more loose. Just long and loose. <laughs> Day mage, interesting. Night mage, sky mage, <laughs> nature mage. Okay, agoraphobic. Let's not do that. Hydrophobic. Pray the dark. Can you turn the heaters a little bit, man. I'm getting a lot of it like on me. Thanks. So much better. Hmm. I'm trying to find one that has like I'll, I'll go back to the beat of mistake if none of these are good, but Bandit. Negative one to charisma. Bonus to firearms. You have you're gunning some ammo, but you don't have any money. Ooh. It's kind of a harder intro. Plus one to strength, plus one to constitution, but no negatives? You're afraid of technological items. And you gotta that. read the whole thing, man. No, I was reading the rest of it. Even said technophobia in the thing. Yeah, I was just reading the rest of it. <laughs> Frankenstein monster. Oh, this is this is good. Strength, constitution, electrical resistance, poison resistance, very slow. Oh, fucking cock. Damage brain larynx connection. Use dumb dialogue options. Mad Doctor. Bonus to intelligence, perception, poison resistance, electrical resistance. Negative two to dexterity. Fuck me. Dude, I don't feel like... Miracle if... Operation. But you have negatives to dexterity, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. Dark Sight. Interesting. No significant background. Yep, I'll go, go back to beat with an ugly stick. 
Beat with an ugly stick. Okay. Next. Your nerd carry weight, 5,000. Our stats are... Our beauty is two. Really? Yep. Oh, here we go. What is this? Alignment meter. Okay. Can you trust the uh, alignment meter? Can you adjust it? Nope. Probably has to do with what we're... Oh, you can like... Oh, I have five points. Okay. Wait, there's a... Oh, okay, yeah. So what do we want to be best at? Oh, we could just like give ourselves... If we find one that has good stuff, we can do that, but I think we're fine. I like this one. So do you want, what do we want to up? We have five points. Or for beauty, maybe? No. Affects the initial reaction of people to this character. Who gives a shit? We're Dr. Mr. Hyde. Okay. Should we up our intelligence? What is this? Mental power. I think dexterity to 12. Default ability and more skills than any other stat. Constitution determines fatigue and resistance to poison. Oh, we can also up our health. So by four for every point we spend. What is this? Fatigue. The magic. Based on constitution and willpower. Oh, oh, oh that affects that stuff. That's interesting. I'm just looking at what it changes here. Yeah. Okay, we'll go over to the bow and shit like that. What What does that do? Does that take... Oh, that oh. takes one of our points, too. Interesting. Okay, mm so Should maybe not put two in decks. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's other stuff, too. There's, like, backstab. Okay. We got combat skills, theming skills, social skills, and technological skills. They got this game down... To 12, no, 16 skills. Or a 12, 16, yeah. That's impressive. This guy says that the throwing melee dodge bow is like the most important combat related skills. Throwing melee dodge bow. Well, that's all the ones we have. We don't have one in any of those. Are you saying something like this? No, I was just. He's just saying those are the most important for combat. I got you. So maybe I should just do like melee. What? Oh, you have to have a minimum dex to raise it any higher than a certain level. Like I would have to have 12 dex to move this any higher. Mm. Which I could do. Minimum dex to raise. Well, do you think Mr. Hyde is going to... I think you would use melee. Yeah. Something like that. Well, let's take a look at what else we have. I mean, he backstabbed a lot of people, didn't he? Prowling, he prowled a lot. Yeah, like, like that. What do we have here? Persuasion, repair, firearms, pick locks, some traps. Hmm. Maybe we should do just to give ourselves a little bit better of a bonus. Just do this, and then do like one more of something else. So do like two dodge and two melee, which is as high as we can make either of them, and then uh, do like we have like one more, one more point left. Oh my god, we can add a technological. Okay, we. Herbology Laidman, Chemistry Laidman, Electric Laidman, oh, Explosives Laidman, Gunsmithy Laidman, Mechanical Laidman, Smithy Laidman, Therapeutics Laidman. This game is highly. highly. It's, it's crazy. And then we have magic. Wow. I guess for Mr. Hyde, for playing a character, we would want to be like K 
chemistry layman. What does that do? With this, even the most untested scientists can bring forth a poison to handle any infestation, ordish or otherwise. It's orcish. Looks like a D. Heal wounds quickly and easily. Hmm. Minimum intelligence is five. This is interesting. So there is no class, but you kind of have to like choose things that go together, you know? What does he say about making a character? Nothing really. Make sure you grab a thing of lockpicks from the virtual store. Is lockpicking important? What about that? Two dodge, two melee, one pick locks. We'll do everything else in game. Go back to the other one, the first one, combat. Is it two in dodge? Yeah. Take one out of dodge. Take one out of melee. Put two in dex. It allows you to, it gives you your speed and gives you how many actions that you can put in. Then. Mm, okay, AC adjustment right there. Yeah. So, I guess that's fine. That's pretty good. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, lockpicks. Trying to find them. Oh, there we go. Lockpicks. Already have lockpicks. Get to buy some more. Okay. It says don't try to lug around all the cool stuff that you find because you're not going to be able to. Okay, I don't have a weapon, so I need to get myself a weapon, like a sword. How much money do you have? 310. Yeah. I can do this, or speed's of 12, so I can't really use a... Unless that doesn't matter. I'm not sure if that's a... Uh, if that's a requirement, or if that's just how fast it is. We'll go back to our character. It tells you how much speed you have. Uh, yeah, we have 12. I think it's just how fast this weapon is. It's probably right. Well, I wanted to do the rapier because it's the fastest. Does one die? One to, one eight, to eight, and then that one to four feet. Yeah, we got an elegant dress we can wear. Okay, I think this is good. I have our nice suit ready to go. I'm trying to steal something. No, that's putting your hand to examine it. Oh. Huh. No, oh, apparently gamble for it. I don't know. Ready? Yep. On this episode of Legend of Korra. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I haven't watched that in a while. Is there like a new season out? Yeah, the whole four seasons out. Can't wait to watch that. Arcanium. Why would you run into that? He's an orc flyer, man. Orc people, you know.
These guys are terrible. I have no idea what the uh, gameplay is going to look like in this game. Turn up a little bit. <laughs> you must find the boy. Find the boy and give him back his ring. And he will know what needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, listen to me. We had to do it. He did unspeakable things to us, and we we had no choice but to do as he said. There are so few of us left, but the work is almost finished, and then the evil, oh, you can't imagine, he's, he's coming back to destroy everything, everything, and everyone, please, just find the boy, <laughs> tell him that I escaped, I came back to warn, <laughs> believe it I mean you and, and then the this guy's a good healer you should be nice to him do you have any idea what all of this means should be nice to him you speak I, I mean of, of course you speak what am I a blathering idiot wait what, what did you say maybe I should be writing all of this down oh it has a little, like that's funny I am at a loss here. I, I, I don't quite know what to do. Uh, I mean, you are the... Well, of course you are. I mean, you do know who you are, right? Of course you do. What, what, what sort of brainless half-baked question is that for the... The, uh... The, uh what, what, what do you call yourself? Please, forgive me. I, I'm making a bloody mess of this whole affair. My name is Virgil, sir, and... I'm new to the Panari religion, uh, your religion, and I, oh, 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 wait, I, uh, hereby dedicate, no, no, uh, commit my life to the living one. I, Virgil, am at your service, sir. Yes, yes, of course you're not really him, just his reincarnation, I, I mean... That is the case, right? I have to admit, I'm no expert in elven philosophy or, or prophecy. Bloody confusing, though. All those these thous. <laughs> not, not that it's not interesting. Um, <clears throat> yes, right. Uh, just give me a moment here. You, you see, the Panari, that's the religion that was formed around the things that he said. I, I mean, that you said. Oh, forget it. Let, let's start at the beginning. Or this beginning, since there is a lot more that came before this. You are the reincarnation of a powerful elf who the Panari worship and whose name is, uh, right. Yes, uh, the name. Oh, uh, wait. I remember something. It is written in the scriptures. The living one will live again on wings of fire. No, 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 wait. I think it says, reborn on wings of fire. Oh, blood and ashes. Why do elves always have to be so damn cryptic? Hmm. I don't know about the ring, but this business about the evil one returning. Oh, as I've said, I don't know a whole lot about the Panari prophecies, but I think you were supposed to return and fight someone evil. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I should know more of this. Hmm. He's like the nicest one. I don't know. I mean, there's this one too. What do you think? This one? Yeah. I 
I would like to clear up your confusion, but I am new to the Panari religion myself. I must bring you to meet my mentor, Elder Joaquin. He can answer your questions. He is in Shrouded Hills, a town at the base of these mountains. Joaquin, well, gave me a hand when I needed it. Showed me the truth of the Panari and its beliefs. He's a very wise man and will know what needs to be done. Yep. The path out of here leading down to Shrouded Hills is down to the southeast. We'll stop by the Panari Shrine on the way out. See if it makes any of this any more clear. We should look for any other survivors before we leave, though. What do you think? Yep. You want to loot everybody? Loot everybody. Hmm. What is it that you want of me? Oh, am I this guy? Oh. Who the hell did you think you were? I thought it was this guy. Why the hell would you think you're that guy? What type of healing do you want? What is it that you want? Oh, he follows me. That's nice. Nothing. Oh. What's that thing on the ground? The white thing. I don't know, you just picked that shit up. I don't know if any of this is going to be useful or not. Oh, there's a dead guy up there. Muck Eye? Is that guy's name Muck Eye? Muck Evil Eye. That's funny. Why was that from? Oh, Victoria. What, what These are, are the people oh. who were you could have yeah. played. That's funny. Lugger Bloodstone. Large spring. Okay. Metal plates. Oh, interesting. What about that body right there? The oh, okay, guy. That's Horace McGinley. Nothing to loot. Can't stray far, too far away from me. I guess it's interesting. How's that interesting? You guys are in a party together. No, I can't stray too far away from, like, me. Oh, okay. Godfrey Castleburger, that's funny. There's a metal plate right there. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. This is the map. Okay, so. Let's see if there's any more of the crash site. Looks like we have to head south with the thingy. One second. Oh, all right, some gold it says. Over here. This is also, be sure to loot all the corpses. You should at least get the passport from the known's body. Got it. The camera off Isaac and the note off of oh, Wilhelmini's note to Jared off Wilhelmini. I think I got it. Do you want to check the note? No, it's in your bag. You have the note? Passport. No, I don't have a note. Well, then you didn't look for all the bodies, did you? That, that little fucker. Fuck. Run, you little bitch. Get him, get him. Get him. Oh, we got this motherfucker. He's not getting away. He's not getting away. Should we just like, like, take these people out, dude? What about that red guy? Yep, there you go. That's who you need. You're not very good at this. Must have healed himself. Can't really loot these, can I? My totes can. Doesn't have anything. How realistic? A game where they have enemies, and the enemies happen to be animals, and the animals aren't carrying gold. Oh shit, some gold!
Where's my... Gotta head this way. Accidentally, I think. I don't know. Well, don't hit him. He's your friend. What is it that you want of me? Okay, good. Don't want to be mad at me. Dude, an axe. Nice. 239 gold. Ooh, a crystal. Heal poison. Nice. And a ruby. Glad I came down here. I'm so good at this game. Did you switch to the big axe? Or are no. you still doing the rapier? I'm doing the, solar, the rapier. Probably it's faster. I trust it more. It's not. A, it's an unidentified axe, so I don't know really. If it does anything. Oh, Solomon. He's got some electrolyte solution. This game wasn't more popular. This is pretty fun. So far. What is this? It seems it's one of those like device, but much things. Than the blip. I've never seen anything like it. And isn't that an ogre among the wreckage? It seems very unlikely that an ogre would have the intelligence to fly such a complex device. Do you see that strange amulet that he's wearing? And that symbol on his face? I told Christine that. Our throat, or if she was feeling sick, and she's like, "That's just your body aching for another cruise." <laughs> I don't remember the uh, scriptures talking about flying ogres and the like. We'd better get to Shrouded Hills and find Elder Joaquin as soon as possible. I don't think this guy's duping me. These wolves are none too friendly. Killing bitches in my suit. Wait. Oh, shit. My car have a rapier, but all I do is just swing it at it really quickly. Who should clear things up for us a bit? Hmm. It says, uh, and the spirit of Nazruddin shall be reborn on wings of fire in hills shrouded in fog, and fight the last battle with the evil one. Did he upgrade his shit? What do you mean? He looks different now. Just a different angle, I guess. Yeah, a different angle. 
I'm sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we better find out, considering you're supposed to fight him. Yes, of course. Alright, leaving the area. Oh shit. Hold there, what are you doing up here? Wait, wait, wait. Says there's a kite shining through a cliff in the rocks to the, the southwest. Killing him's worth 500 experience. I did that. Nice. Uh, there might also be a gem or two and an unidentified weapon or piece. A quick test to determine if his unidentified item is hex evil. Try equipping it. If you hear a hum and the ground underneath your character turns briefly into a pentagon, it's hexed. Huh. I'll have to test that in, in a second. All the way to the north, one of the ogre bandits that attacked the zeppelin has crashed in his flying machine. You can take a, you can take a strange amulet off his body. Did that. The northeast of the arena, the area passed a pond and the entrance to a cave. Some sewer rats to dispose of. There's a pile of junk to the northwest of the entrance containing a saltpeter and arrows. I did not do that. I did not do that. So I'll talk to this guy first. I mean no disrespect. Sir, but I don't trust this bastard one bit. Bloody convenient he just happened to show up here just now, don't you think? Oh, excuse my language, uh, uh, sir. I've, I've dealt with buggers, uh, <laughs> individuals like this before. Perhaps you'll let me talk with him for a few minutes. Thank you, uh, I'll take care of this. <clears throat> you there! What exactly are you doing up here? What gives you the right to ask so many questions? I'm just asking a simple question. What are you two doing up here? I'm from Shrouded Hills, a village not far from here, and I witnessed this terrible accident. Is it such a crime to wonder what exactly is going on? Oh, really? Listen, I came from Shrouded Hills myself. It's at least a day's journey from here. There's no way you could have traveled here that fast. I think you're lying, sir. I, uh, didn't come from Charted Hills just now. I was camping not far from here and saw the blades. Why are you questioning me? I've done you no harm. No, I don't think you understand. I'm asking you questions here, and I don't like your answers. I'm going to ask you one more time. Why are you here? I don't recommend you speak to me that way, friend. I just asked a question, and I'm expecting an answer. We can make this simple or more difficult. Uh, Should I take over? Yeah. Yes, that's more reasonable. Now, why are you here? And you were on the IFS Zephyr and survived? Did you happen to see a gnome? His name was Preston Radcliffe. This one? Yeah. I'm sure I'm from Shrouded Hills, a town not far from here. I saw the crash and came here as fast as I could. Yeah. Uh, this one? This one. Yeah. Did he say anything to before he died? This, nope. No, I'm not gonna tell him that. Do this one? Yeah. I'm afraid it's not an option here. You see, I'm here to see if there were any survivors. Yeah. Making sure there are none. It was gonna end that way no matter what. Get yeah. shit on, motherfucker. Hired killer. Someone doesn't want anyone walking away from this blimp crash. Yes, it seems that way. Perhaps it has to do with the gnome. Yes, that may very well be the case. It might be a good idea to find out who owns that ring. Let's go to Shrouded Hills. Okay, dokie. Just a second here, bro.
Where'd you see that, uh... Man. What? Where'd you say that, uh... Pile of stuff was? The pond and shit? Uh, to the northeast. No northeast or northwest? Northeast. Here. Didn't we just have... We had a conversation about this a while ago. I know. I'm trying to find it. There is no pond. Do I have to go inside that thingy? There's a cave. Okay. See it on. Kill the rats. Did I die? Die? Oh, what? I just died? I was fighting a bunch of rats. I didn't even like pay attention. I thought I could just kill them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's In games like this autosave. What else did I up? The things in the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was it, right? Yep. This time, save it. For real. Yes, of course you're... Yes, right. right. Hmm. I don't know about the ring, but this business about... I would like to clear up your confusion, but I am new to the, the path out of here leading down to Shrek. Oh, I got a right click, yes. Yes, please, on the right click. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it's not that bad. Make sure you pay attention to your health. I was before. I guess I just didn't think anything of the rats. Save. So 
cool little sound. That's pretty cool. Dun! Dun! <laughs> oh, that guy just took like half your health. Saw that, yeah. What is it that you want of me? At least you haven't hit him this time. I think he yells at you if you get hit. I don't think I hit him accidentally. I don't think you can hit him. Last time I... Oh, I was about to say, last time I got hexed. But I got hexed like twice. It's a much worse en engagement last time. The exact same items as last time. Might be somewhat seated. Just hit, just hit the freaking green button. Yeah. Or hit enter next time. Yeah. Fuck you, boar. Are you blind? What in God's yep. Better luck next time. Oh man, that's sad. The guy will like walked over there slowly and then died. He's just trying to get away. That's pretty sad. Are you gonna go get the thingy? Yeah, one sec. What are you looking for? Picked up some kind of shroud. Is it the handle looking thing? The handle looking thing? And this? Down. 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 Right there. Oh, spring. Maybe that's my, my one it was. Ooh, I have a ring. Oh, that's one, one ring. On a hammer. Or the axe. Let's see what that does. Alright. Alright. Get it. Get it get It'll it. show me. This is a live feed. Okay. So it's good. It's not hexed. Nice. How much damage does this do? This says nine damage. This is ten damage. Speed, Speed is, is four, four though, so that's not that's not good enough. Not good enough. Well, we don't really know the metric yet, man. Well, usually it. Well, like, just try to put it on. And see what happens. Save before you go in this cave of death. Hit enter. Enter again. Nice. Eh, that's bad. Nice. I did say not to pick up everything, but... Well, you can load the guy up with shit. You critical miss and hurt yourself. Really? Yeah. It's fucked up. I was cursed by an evil priest. My name is Charles Brago. My friend and I asked only for something to eat, some sustenance. We were poor, wandering, and he cursed us. My friend, cursed with madness, attacked me, killed me, the pain. I am cursed to be held to this realm. I am unable to be released. Please, I need your help. What would you like me to do? I need to kill Priest Arbola. He lives here at the points of their map. Only his death will free me. Should I ask him what he'll give me if I do it? Or just do like, yeah, I'll do it. Fuck yeah. What will he give you? I know of a treasure buried for years. You know the treasure where you're poor. We had taken an oath of poverty. We were monks. I see. 
Then I shall avenge your death. Terry, release me from my pain. Ooh, flintlock pistol. It's broken. This one? Nuh uh. Oh, shit. Stun grenade. Explosive grenade. Stun grenade. Revolver chamber. Nice. All right. Even though the axe and shit, they can just right click. Oh, oh he, he switched. switched. <laughs> it's funny. Give him iron ore, metal plates. Give him the wine. Can, will, can I like sort my stuff? It's not. Give the filaments. Oh, you can just hit, press S to save. Oh, just S to save. No, it doesn't save. Jen and Christine feel fine. Of course they do. Should clear yes, of course. Can you just sigh at you? Yeah. What did what did you do? Oh, I, I just skipped through the thing. So he sighs at the beginning of one of the little parts that he speaks. Mm. I mean no dis I thank you. Oh, I'll let Virgil talk this time. Perhaps this is a discussion we'll have later, friend. I'm sure this issue will be resolved in time. He looks at you nodding, and his eyes burning at you. Good day to you. Oh, shit. He lives. If you let Virgil talk. I didn't get anything off his body anyway, did I? No, but he might... What does it say to do? What does it say to do?
go to the Abalas. Nice. Jamala, beloved wife and mother. Yeah, we're at an hour. Let's take a break. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go buy some orange juice. That's a good idea. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this hour-long episode of Arcanum, let us know in the comments below. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.